Hello, hello, everybody. Happy hump day. Dr. Mark here. So we talk all the time about how hopping on a table, receiving the chiropractic adjustment is really resetting your neurology and allowing brain and body to develop new neural pathways to become more efficient, more organized, more clear and open, more concise, more confident, more connection between us, between the people in our lives. Um, and I wanted to share a tidbit, something that's been really helpful and fun for me individually, but also for my family. And it's actually, I guess you'd maybe consider it a reflection question um, and right away in the morning. So the framework for this, I suppose, um, just like when we talk about chiropractic and resetting patterns for posture and how we uh, experience pain and how we relate to others. That's all ingrained in the brain, in the neurology, which tells our body what to do, right? So the chiropractic adjustment is that, um, that quick reset reframe. Well, oh, sorry. Yeah, you're gonna walk, but okay. Well, there's Lindy. <laughs> Um, and so the same thing goes when we're talking about like in our day to day, our habits, who we talk to, how we navigate stressors, changes when they pop up. And so here is where uh, talking about something that's been really impactful for me and for my family is in the morning answering out loud, what am I looking forward to today? So. Anything goes here, especially like we ask for three-year-olds on this. What are you looking forward to today? Um, sometimes it's a made-up answer because he's three, but that's also fun. It's not uh, jumping right into, okay, I need you to get this, this, and this done because we got shit to do today, all right? And uh, the follow-up, the second part of that equation that we always ask at the end of the day, um, what am I proud of myself for today? Because let's be honest, how many times has your head hit the pillow and you think of the things on your to-do list that you messed up on or that you didn't do or that you forgot about when in reality, if we sat and penciled it out, the stuff that we botched is 2% of the day, maybe. I don't know what an actual number might look like, but maybe 2%. The other 98% of our day is things that we wanted to do, that we should have done, that we uh, like did awesome and excel that but it's just autopilot so we very rarely congratulate ourselves and so it helps clear up a lot of mental emotional space when you're laying down in bed tonight to say okay what am I proud of myself for when you start this exercise it's probably gonna be pretty damn difficult so you might be like uh, I put on deodorant mm, I didn't throw my son out a window I'm not joking with you that's when I started that was that was that and now I can't, um, I, I'm falling asleep before I get through my list. And I mean, like, I would like to think I'm an exemplary human, but that's just the nature of us is uh, oftentimes to get down on ourselves and tear ourselves down. And if you want different in your life, you have to pattern interrupt, you have to do different. So two questions, two thing, two prompts that I highly encourage you to incorporate into your day. And if you have family uh, into theirs in the morning, what am I excited for today? At the end of the day, what am I proud of myself for? Okay? Much peace and love to everybody today.